Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks for taking the time to check out this tips and tricks video. Hey folks, I saw a great question in the official XLite support group today from a new user that asked uh, the question, when you import a uh, matrix sequence from one sequence into your home layout, uh, will those effects uh, and those, and here's the caveat, and my matrix is much larger or my matrix is smaller than uh, the matrix that they created and put effects onto. And I want to answer this question because this does come up and it can be quite confusing to really explain it in a simple yes or no question answer. So I'm going to demonstrate the difference uh, between th some things for you. And uh, let's go over here. I've got a couple, um, I've got a couple uh, effects here that I put down and this is a spiral effect. Now notice I'm working at the model level. Most people will sequence at the model level but sometimes people will want to sequence at a string level. So um, when you want to sequence at the string level and I've gotten away from doing this. I did this way back when we had the ability to when we started having the ability to do this but then some things changed in the program and made it much easier so that I didn't have to do this. Um, so you can double click on the model and open it up and you can actually come down here and sequence at the strand level. So you can go and put a bars effect on here and you can go, um, let's see, expand. And let's see if we've got some colors on there. I don't know why that's not working. Let's uh, make sure we're, we're going uh, left. There we go. So now you see, see it's going across the bottom string here and we can go on a couple bars there and we'll put bars here. So so you can see that if you've got a, let's say, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16 strand matrix and you sequence at the strand level, yes, you can pull that data in. Obviously you can. But what if your model that you're pulling the data in from has strand counts that are really high, like for a P10 panel, say, for example, um, and that data is stored in XLites and it does make it available for you to map it whenever you go up and do your import mapping. You can map these strings to the strings that are on your matrix or actually I don't know if you can open up to the matrix level but um, or the uh, string level. The uh, But the idea actually you should be able to and you should be able to map these strands and that way you can pull the effects in and you don't lose those effects if that person is sharing that with you. But mostly the way that XLites works is at the model level and you usually will put your effects on. And what I wanted to show you is the difference in definition. So this matrix here on the bottom right that, that um, is here on the garage door, the, the, the actual matrix is uh, 50 by uh, 50 by 40, 40 24, 50 by 24. Let's go look. <laughs> it's very easy to find out. Just click on the model and we can come over here 24 by 50 and that would be correct. So uh, the matrix here is a P10 kind of and it doesn't want me to select it. There we go. And this one is a 96 by 128. So that's that's a pretty nice size P10 panel. Uh, but you can tell the difference between these two spiral effects. They are exactly identical, nothing different in them. But you can tell that on the garage matrix, the 50 by uh, 24, that there is a slight cant that's a little bit more heavy. And it, this is more straight up and down. And that has to do with the definition, the actual size of the matrix. So in order to recreate this so they look very similar, and if you want them to look identical, what you have to do, and we just copy and pasted this, what you have to do is you have to come up here to your spiral wraps and you actually have to change it. So, and you just kind of play with it. And so that looks about the same. So if you're looking for exactly the same effect, um, or the model is built totally different. And I'll give you another example of this. If we take this and we just copy this and let's go up and we have some, uh, uh, where are they? We have some column matrices. I'll go ahead and put them here. I'll paste those right there. So, oh, and, and uh, because that's a group, let me, uh, let me go down to the model level here. We'll open that up and we'll add a layer below. Oops, no, we don't need a layer, delete layer. Um, 
so this is being pasted on this model and so there you go this is the difference see this is a much more narrow uh matrix than these are and you can see that the the tilt is so different and in order to get this same look you really have to um go at a very steep angle to get that and also because of the definition you're never going to get that large separation that you can see between these two pixels now you can see in the next frame after this as the effect travels you can see how much this just changes bam so just to get that look there and to try and get the same look it gets very challenging so the answer to the question is that a lot of the effects work great you as long as you're sequencing at the model level uh, or at a group level for example but if you're not sequencing if you're sequencing at a individual string level you're going to have to map those that that string into a string that's available for you so in this case if you're mapping from this p10 panel to this larger panel over here or the smaller panel definition wise um, then you would have to map those individual strings to a string that would fit for your needs so th the next thing that I want to show you and I know that we're getting a little long in the uh, long in the video here is the picture effect so what I did was I created uh, I, I just grabbed the Moana logo off of uh, uh, one of the one of the websites and just grabbed it and downloaded it and put it into the picture effect and this is the exact same effect copy and pasted so what you might find is that what works naturally perfectly for for the p10 panel may not work very well so you have to go in and you have to make changes to the effect over here in the effects settings panel so i'm it's this isn't a, a, a how to sequence video but this is more of a Get, get getting to understand that definition has a big difference so with the picture effect we can scale it to fit and it will look very very close and very good for exactly what it is that we're going for um, once again if I take this and I copy this and I scale it up to here it's not going to show up very well you can't scale it to fit now what if I what if I did this if I put it up here at the column matrix level you can see that it's trying to spread it across so if you were trying to get that to, to you know cover more matrix panels you could get that look of it across it uh, as a group so there's some there's some functionalities in X lights that you need to be aware of um, this is another example I was gonna do the exact same thing with the mega trees this mega tree here is uh, is a, a standard starter mate uh, mega tree it is 50 by 16 50 tall by 16 wide and this one here is 100 by 32 by all means it's the same standard definition it's the same definition but it's slightly bigger so you have a little bit better definition of the of the effect versus the the skinnier smaller and it works and it does a great job but you have so many more pixels to play with you have so much better refinement and and as you saw before if you just go up to the p10 panel you see really good definition because they're so close together and there's so many pixels for the effect to work off of so i, I just wanted to share this video with you folks i hope you enjoyed it i know this is a little, little long I, I like to make them a little shorter but um in any event i i hope you enjoy this small lesson this little tips and tricks and and if uh also i'd like to point out that pixel pro display does a ton of helpful videos uh, I started as uh, Leechburg lights back in 2013 and I have been making videos ever since to help all the new people all the people in the hobby so feel free to check out our website www.pixelprodisplays.com check out some of our sequences that we make and also we have a Facebook page that you can join and get your questions answered in if you're interested thank you so much for joining us have a wonderful day we'll see you soon yeah.